Konnichiwa everyone, I'm Dan, how are you doing today? Hope you're having a lovely day wherever you're watching this from and today's video I'm talking about cost of living in Japan <laughs> Nice one, so let's crack on with today's video You join me here outside Valor Supermarket in Shiga Just a, a supermarket to be honest with you What can you do? And today's topic is all about cost of living in Japan. Um, people often ask me, is it cheap? Is it expensive? How much does it cost to live in Japan today? I'm going to try and answer them questions for you. Here we go, inside with aircon, I hope, because it's red as... Oh, it's busy today. So, keep my voice down a bit, because I'm inside. And we'll have a look. So not much to update you on, to be honest with you, since last time. Usually I do a bit of a, an update video at the beginning, just like, oh, this is what I did this month, but I didn't really do it this month, to be honest with you, so I'm going to kind of skip that bit and just crack on. So, is Japan expensive? Let's, let's have a chat. Let's break it down into some things. I'm not really going to talk about, like, cost of living to get here, you know. I'm not really going to talk about how much it costs to get here. I'm just going to more talk about daily living costs, how much stuff costs day in, day out. Um, so let's start with big stuff. Rent. My rent is actually really cheap here in Shiga, which is good. Like, rent, for me, now, I'm not going to do it in pounds. I'm just going to let you convert it. I'll just do it. Oh, any chance of it. I've just seen it. I'm going to convert it. I'm not going to convert it even, I'm just going to do it in yen. Hello, Eddie Chan. What you bought? I don't know the name of this in Japanese, in Portuguese, in English. You don't know it in any language, okay, cool. So, yeah, I'm not going to convert it, you can just work it out, whatever it costs. Some of these things I don't even know they are. So that's an avocado, I only learned what they were over a week, never ate one. Uncultured, I know. Yes, yeah, so rent rent for our apartment pretty cheap compared to other places I've lived in Japan our rent is now 46,000 yen a month which is pretty cheap really um, yeah 46,000 yen a month I'm not going to talk about moving in costs I'll do that in a different video but yeah so 46,000 that's a starting point on top of that you've got like gas electric and water Gas, electric, and water. Gas and water, I think gas gas and water are put together here. I can't remember. Two of them are bound together anyway. And yeah, that's that's the thing. And basically for gas, water, and electric each month costs us about another fifteen to twenty thousand yen a month. I don't know. So yeah, that's another so that's another fifteen thousand or so, uh, which is not bad for utilities. Top of that, we've got Tinternet. Tinternet costs us about five thousand yen a month um, from NTT, and that's decent internet, decent speeds. Um, so yeah, five thousand yen a month for that. Then next, we've got uh, oh, what? Do I need yakiniko? How much is it? Let's do it for the video. That's really cheap. Like a thousand yen for that? Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, so internet is about another 5,000 yen. So that's all right. Then on top of this, you start getting things like city tax. City tax. Um, you know, you pay city tax to your um, city, basically, obviously. And that costs it's 30,000 yen for three months so we're talking you know about 10,000 yen a month for that then on top of that I've got my health care which is about 25,000 yen a month which is I think I talked about that in a different video but 25,000 yen a month for that then I have to pay my pension which is another 19,000 I think uh, so what else I need to pay should have really written some things down, but I didn't. Some magazines, there you go, look. I think that's 
probably about it for like stuff that I need to pay every month. So, let me think. Rent, internet, gas, water, electric, tax, health insurance, pension. I think in terms of stuff that I have to pay every month, I think that's about it. What are these? These look cool. Like bubble baths or something. Actually, I think they're just for cleaning your bath. It's not that interesting. Sorry, guys. False alarm. Toothbrushes. Uh, yeah, and then on top of that, for work, when I'm not working from home, I usually spend about 20,000 yen a month on travel. Um, yeah, traveling around. But the company pays me back for that, so I shouldn't really count that. Uh, yeah, so that's basics. Whoa, look at this. Some gorilla curry. Sick. And then you've got your daily stuff, you know, shopping. Which is why I'm in a supermarket, to be fair. I thought, what's a good place to talk about how much stuff costs in a supermarket, innit? So let's look at some essentials. Let's have a look at some meat. This pack of meat. It's currently 700 yen. I don't know if that means out to you. And we've got some other meats. Some stuff in Japan is like super expensive compared to what I expected. Earlier we were in fruit and veg section. And that's like way more expensive than I ever expected compared to England. Like a little thing of grapes here. I'd be like 700 yen. In England you'll get more than that for a quid. So I get a bit confused with that. Fruit and veg is expensive. It's a luxury to eat them things here. Um, most affordable fruit is probably bananas, I guess. But it's still not great. Um, so that's weird. Some stuff that's cheaper than I expected. Uh, that's a good point, actually. I think everything else is pretty much comparable to England, truth be told. So look how much is a pan. A pan is 1,480 yen for that pan. Is that good? Is that bad? I don't know. It's summer. I think usually things people compare is like milk. How much is milk for one litre? So let's go and have a look. We've got some sweets and that down here. I have to be careful when I'm filming inside. I'm not supposed to be filming inside. And... Yeah, I shouldn't really be doing it, so I have to try and keep a low profile. Some cup of soup. Some no, got the no out. 158 yen for three. Is it good? I don't know. Uh, of course, cream of corn soup. Welcome to Japan. And some more no cup of soup things here, look. Ah, here we go. Fuck boys. Shinkup. Shout out Dan Lloyd. Shin Cup's biggest shiller. I got some frozen things. Let's have a look at some frozen things. These are like when you're making your bento and that. So you get this little pack, so either yakisoba or Neapolitan spaghetti. And that'll cost you 148 yen. That seems pretty cheap. This is like homemade, it's like Aldi's own. American dogs. <laughs> Fair enough. American dog, if that's what you want to call it. If that's if that's your bag. Um, sandwich meat. If you fancy making a sarnia at home, got some ham and that. It's a bit expensive. A bit expensive. One of my biggest gripes in Japan is they don't know about sausages. It's all like these American wiener style shit. They don't know. They don't know about a good old Yorkshire pork sausage, do they? Um, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna look at milk, wanna? Milk, that's where I was going. I remember now. I remember now. What cost of shopping? See, this is where I need Eddie Chan because she she thinks more about these things. I just start talking and see what happens. Here we go. Look, let's have a look at Red Bull. A can of Red Bull, 242 yen. 262 with tax. All prices got tax listed at bottom. Hi, oh, Eddie Chan's here. Look. Then, uh, what should I have talked about? Cost of living. As a rent, gas, electric, water. Uh, internet? Internet. Rent? Yeah, I just said rent. What else? Tax, pension. Oh, this is other How is it other thing? I have to pay it. 
So I'll cut Chuai instead. That's more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the best aisle because it's got Chuai here and it's got ice cream here. What more could you want in life? What more could you want in life, I ask you? Look at all these Chuais. Yeah, you can choose one. This one is pineapple one. Oof, treat your sin. Look at this one, lifeguard with vodka. I don't even know what that is. It's wonderful, whatever it is. And they're pretty cheap, I know, like one can, 98 yen. About 70 pence English, I think. So that's good. Some stuff that's, ex what's, what's like summer in Japan that you thought is like really expensive? Summer. Something in Japan that you were like, wow, this is way more expensive than Brazil. Almost everything. Almost everything, all right, fair enough. Yes. Coffee in a can, that's a big thing, yeah. Get on that rainbow mountain blend, that's sick. Um, oh, this is a cool thing about Japanese supermarkets. They've always got the little bentos. Um, you know, little like pre-made meals and that. What we got here? Looks like some, I don't even know what that is, but it looks cool. And it's 300 yen. How much is milk? Why is milk in freezer? I don't know. But it's 198 yen for one of these. Maybe that's relevant to you. I don't know. I don't really know. How much is jelly? That's important. It's not even jelly. What is it? This is a good thing about shopping in Japan. I don't know what oat is. Looks a bit like jelly, doesn't it? It's jelly. Some kind of jelly. All oh, right, it's jelly. It's some kind of jelly. Get some sandwiches, but they don't really know about sandwiches in Japan. Mixed salad sandwich. And you get fruit sandwiches, idiots. Sandwich, but instead of in the middle, it's fruit and cream. As long as I live, I'll never understand that. I've got delicious sweets section here. All this delicious. I don't really know what we've got here. Some little cakes and that. Eddie Chan likes this part. And some craft cream cheese dessert. Mmm, delicious. I want to have a look at the bakery, that's the best part. We've got yogurts and, and ting. Oh, I need some, reminds me, I need some granola and some yogurt. Sure. You got yogurt already? This is the one. Bulgaria, that's what we have. And that is some money. Fruit juice, how much is orange juice? Obviously you have Tropicana, don't you? Or Dole. 170, yeah, it's about the same, I guess. And then here we get towards bakery, bread. Japan's crazy for bread. First of all, you have all little sweets and that you can buy. They're kind of cool. And some croissants and that. I want to look at real bread, which is over here, I forgot. I want to look at some real bread. Because I want to show you something. Alright, it's Coco Monkey, go on. Ruin it world. Cheers, mate. Dickhead. In jokes. <laughs> pizza, Japan doesn't know about pizza either. That's not a pizza. Don't be daft. Don't be daft. But yeah, I want to show you something about Japanese bread. Here we go. This is what I want to show you. You can only buy it in packs of like four. And look how big each one of them is. What's point? I can buy five. Whoever ate five pieces of bread? Why? What's wrong with like a loaf that's actually cut to a normal, reasonable size? Five. I guess here, look, you could just buy your own loaf and cut it your cent. But for eight slices, that's a reasonable size. 98 yen for all them. But look at these ones. Oof, Mathis. Mathis Ting. 
So yeah, this video was supposed to be about cost of living in Japan, but actually it's just turned into me looking at things and saying that's how much it costs. So a bit of a strange video, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, yeah, uh, I don't really know what to tell you. I hope you somehow took some value from watching me walk around the supermarket and just look at things. I guess it's immersion, I guess, in some way. Oh, rice, this is something you should really pay attention to, how much it costs. Because in Japan, you're probably going to eat a lot of rice. So, one of these great big bags down here, look. One of them great big ones. 3,280, and that's 10 kilogram. That's pretty good. That'll feed thee for a while. But I think, honestly, that's about all I've really got to say today. So, you know, cheers for watching. Cheers for listening, I guess. And Eddie Chan's here, so we'll finish video. Eddie Chan, can you say bye-bye to everyone? Bye-bye, everyone. Dick. So that's it, as always. Until next time. Jamata. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment below and bang a thumbs up on this video. While you're at it, you may as well smash that subscribe button and ring that bell and you won't miss a thing. And there's plenty more videos like this one. There's one here and one here. Maybe you'll see something you like. All my videos are supported by the Jadan fam on Patreon. You guys are awesome. And as always, until next time. Jamata!